Okay, my love, so when it comes to the healing, because we all are capable of healing these parts of ourselves, we do, we can rewrite our past, we can rewire our brain, we can overcome any obstacle that is thrown our way, we can heal our inner child, our inner adolescent, our inner adult that went through these experiences, we can forgive, we can, we can do anything, and we don't have to carry this burden, this, this experience on with us any longer. So it's best to heal all the loves all of those things and like I said healing is different for everyone There's honestly like I said you know right or wrong even if you dived into some promiscuity or closed off your entire sexual nature like those things were necessary at the time that they happened But there comes a time where you begin to you know what this is not me. You know what? I'm thankful for this part of myself that I needed this at the time that I needed this, but this me doesn't need that anymore. I am whole, beautiful, complete. I am free. I don't have to be that way anymore because I decide. I am in control of myself only. And there's all of my power resides in that, in me nothing else and there's so much beauty in that and learning how to heal and forgive and move on so and it is a process so these are just my tips i always guide people to follow their intuition i'm somebody that likes to bring things into awareness and give a solution but of course listen to your own body to what you need for you okay so number one accept your truth accept the truth that yes you know what this happened to me this happened to me for me ah <laughs> Did you, when you change the way you speak about the things that happened to you that for you right then it shifts your entire reality so you caught me but yes do this with me it happened for me okay and it gets even deeper than that because it actually really really did but anyway um accept the truth you know like this is what happened. Cry, express yourself. Accepting the truth isn't like, okay, this happened to me. Allow whatever needs to flow, you know? Give yourself the time to really accept. Acceptance looks and feels different for everyone. Bring awareness to all the behaviors and choices that derived from this experience. So take some time to meditate. Maybe go back to the points that I made before this and see like, okay, like, oh, okay, let me look into my roots. Let me go into my heart. Let me, you know, and like go within and investigate. See what connects to what, and if it even connects at all, okay? Um, yeah, so feelings of insecurities, any sexual issues you have, any um, physical ailments you have, yeah. And also staying present. So stay present when the memory comes up. Sometimes it's like so horrific to replay the memory in your mind. Um, but please do your best. Try to stay present with that. You know, again, what we're doing is we're allowing ourselves, we're allowing that energy to present itself because we're facing this once and for all, yeah? I have shoved my memory down into my unconscious mind so, so deep in there that I actually forgot it happened until years later when I was meditating, I remembered. So, so yeah, that's, yeah, I'm telling you, your body loves you, your mind loves you, it will do anything to protect you. But when you stay present with these things, your mind and your body can now rest and move into a new space when we begin to heal from this. So some, some things you can do to stay present, just breathe when the memory comes up. Again, allow any emotions and things to arise and express them. Take some time alone. Make sure you're somewhere where you feel safe. Maybe with somebody that's, that you feel safe with. Maybe a group of people. Maybe by yourself, yeah? So, and some things, some other things you can do is work on your physical body. So, do some yoga, some hip openers. Work with the chakras. Again, chakras and yoga go hand in hand. They're one and the same, I feel. So, do some some exercises to strengthen these parts of your body you know especially the lower body i love yoga hip openers frog pose goddess pose men can do goddess pose too <laughs> really great stuff the butterfly you know really working with the hip flexors strengthening the hip flexors yeah so so really working with the physical body healing the physical body addressing the ailments you have with natural remedies natural ways to heal 
natural exercises, you know, do <laughs> natural exercises. All oh, exercises are natural, I think. But you know, doing things that heal you internally, heal your organs, your endocrine system. You know, if you're prone to yeast infections and stuff, learn how to balance your pH, your your acidic and alkaline levels within your body. Cut the sugar, cut the bread out, you know, um, all of that great stuff. Um, so, and, and this one I feel could is probably the hardest one to do, um, but it's one of the most effective ways to heal. And I think the way I personally began to really let go of anything that had to do with that area of my life was to forgive, to forgive myself. I actually have a video of how to learn to let go and forgive on my YouTube. It's a nice little exercise. You can do it multiple times as much as you need to, but simply you just like, you write down like what you forgive yourself for. Again, maybe write down the behaviors that, that you developed from the, these experiences, write those down, write down the people or the person that hurt you, write their name down and say, I forgive blank for, I forgive myself for, and then do like a burning ceremony where you burn that paper. Um, whatever feels right for you though, you don't have to do that. In whatever way, sometimes it's simply writing a letter and, and maybe just shredding it up. Uh, I know the way you dispose of the letter though is very important, so I would do something that disintegrates it for sure. So work with fire, you know. Um, not all of us have the opportunity to actually face the people that hurt us or the person that hurt us and tell them to their face or you know what I'm saying? So maybe writing out a letter will help maybe actually if you feel called like you know what i really need to tell this person that i forgive them or that i want to let them know like this is how this affected me due to your actions like I, that's some you know that is on another level but if you feel called to do that i highly encourage you to do that i know i sent out text message is messages to the people yeah people that hurt me so that you know that's not for everyone again you do what works for you to forgive those that hurt you okay know that they were probably sexually abused i'm not justifying what they did is right or right. no 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 it is wrong but you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to justify that uh what i'm saying is this is so much deeper please don't feel triggered by what i said but this is so much deeper than what the human mind can even comprehend their mind around but regardless you don't have to carry on that that hate and that resentment any longer okay because for your sake okay they will get their karma or they already got their karma for what they did but you don't need to carry that with you because it, it is not your responsibility to hold that they can do that you don't need to be doing that you don't need to do that any longer so forgive 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 in whatever way that is forgive 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 meditation is huge meditate that's how i even remembered my memory meditate go on youtube do a bunch of guided meditations i did some hypnotherapy meditations on youtube i want to say yeah um do that you know of course seek professional help or if you need a friend open up to a friend about what you feel be open a lot of the healing and sexual trauma i feel is connected to being open about what happened to you, for you what being open with how you feel and how this affected you it's all about really opening up again you know what i'm saying um because when those things happen we want to close ourselves right in some way shape or form if it's not physically closing our legs then it's closing our heart you know what i'm saying or it's both so um, but yeah, and yeah, let me check. Yeah, so guys, there's so many different things. Chakra work, yoni steaming um, is something that I'm starting to do. There's so many ways, but I highly recommend to go within and find the answers that is best for you. I know the way I said this list, I don't want you guys to think that it's just so simple. Like I'm telling you, this has been years and years of healing my womb space. Um, I'm just speaking from a place that's, you know, so you can feel more positive that yes, like I can do this and we can do this and I'm not alone. And you know, if you need a friend, please message me. If you need a friend, please message me, connect with me. I am here with you. Um, 
But yeah, guys, for real, for real, for real, I really just wanted to talk about this because this is happening to this day. Let's protect the children. If we weren't protected, let's protect the children in our homes. Let's, you know, open up this discussion and talk about this more because, again, this is happening on a global scale. Sex trafficking, child trafficking is happening like never before or maybe like always, if not worse, right? I don't know, but... It's our responsibility to heal from these things and protect those that are that are birthing into this world that need our protection, that need our wisdom, our love, yeah? And in order to really, really heal, we need to shed and let go of what is no longer happening, okay? So again, please, 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 please feel free to reach out. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. We are getting through this. We are powerful beings and we're not going to be a slave to any experience that has happened for us. <laughs> Much love.